Hi friends, welcome to another edition of Quick Tip Videos brought to you by DataPlatformCentral.com. In this edition of Quick Tip Videos, we are going to look into a requested video series in which a person has asked about a DAX tip. The scenario for the week has been requested by a user named Magaranth. This is one of the commonly used scenarios that we have come across in many projects. So I thought it would be worth making a video on the same. The topic on hand is how we can calculate last n weekly rolling calculation. So this means that whenever you have a data which consists of a data hierarchy, you wanted to calculate a measure based on rolling weekly calculation. So suppose if we are taking sales as an example, we want to find out for each week what would be the average sales or maybe the total sales during the last x weeks and the x can be anything. So we can even make it into a parameterized logic where from the parameter we pass basically a slicer the user will select how many weeks they want to see prior to the current week. So mo mostly these type of uh, calculations are required for identifying the movement of a particular item and using that they can determine when they need to go for the replenishment. So let's see how we can use uh, last n weekly rolling calculation inside our Power BI report. Let's first have a look at the scenario that we have in hand. So the scenario here which the user has sent us is that I need to create a measure which is capable of doing rolling window calculation based on last n weeks. So if n equal to 3 it will calculate the measure over last 3 weeks which means the current week plus the previous 2 weeks for each week in my table. How can I implement this in Power BI? The format of report would be as shown below. So they have shown the format where you have year one as the first column, then you have week as the second level. So it's hierarchy, and we have week one, week two, week three, etc. And we have they are showing sales as well as the last three week sales side by side. So sales corresponding to each will be week will be shown, and along with that, the last three weeks measure, which will actually calculate the sales from the previous three weeks. So suppose if you see the sales for week four. It will consist of week 2 plus week 3 plus week 4. Similarly for week 5 it will consist of week 3 plus week 4 plus week 5. So let's see how we can implement such a rolling window calculation based on week inside our Power BI report. To illustrate the weekly rolling calculation let's open a blank Power BI sheet with connection to a local instance and we have pulled the required tables. Only the tables which are required for the illustration have been included but in the actual case there will be many more tables. So here we have two tables called sales orders and sales order items which consist of the details of the orders that have come as well as the items that are linked to the order. If you open the sales orders you can see that it contains a column called order date. This is the column that we will be using for generating the weekly based rolling calculations. So what we need to do as a first step is to create a generic calendar table which can be linked from each of the tables which are involved in this model. In this case there is only a single table but still we will go ahead and create a generic calendar table. So the easiest way to do it is to go to the data tab and then there is an option to create a new table. Click on new table and you can create and name the table as calendar and you can just use the calendar auto function for generating the table automatically. Once you do this, it creates a single column table with the column containing the dates and the range of dates contained in the table will depend on the data which is contained inside your transaction table. So it will create a date table based on the earliest date available in your model to the latest date. We will be using this table to generate the weekly calculation. Since there is no direct way to calculate weekly calculation using any of the data add functions, if you see almost all the date related functions in DAX supports only year, month and day as the intervals. So here we need week. So we need to generate a manual week related column so as to use it for our rolling calculations. So the next step is to generate a year week column. It should be an year week column because we might need moving between multiple years. So if we are on the first week of an year when going back it should go to the last week of the previous year and go backwards. So as to get that continuity we need to create a single column which will have year week value which will keep on changing based on the 
year number and the week number corresponding to each of the dates so let's create that click on new column we'll name the column as week year and the calculation would be the date column on top of it we have the year we'll multiply it by 100 plus we will add the week number corresponding to the date once you create this column you can see that the column will have an individual value for each week so there is only two dates in the first week then comes to the second week and if you see for any year it will move from that year 0 1 to that particular year 52 or 53 depending on the number of weeks which is present in that particular year you can see that it's going up to 2016 53 2017 53 etc so that's how the week year goes now we will be using this column for our rolling window calculations now that we have created the calendar table with the required columns next we need to add a relationship between the calendar table and the order table based on the order date so click on manage relationship after going to the model view and then here there you can create the new relationship so you need to create the relationship between calendar date and sales orders order date now the relationship is created now you can go back and use calendar date values to slice and dice your data from the sales orders now go to the visuals add a visual add a matrix visual drag and drop uh, year from the date hierarchy followed by the week year column that you have added and drag and drop quantity on the values you can see that the quantity is correctly showing for each of the year values when you expand you can see the corresponding weekly values as well from the first week till the last week now we need to add the custom measure for calculating the last two week sales for that we will add a new measure to the sales order items table call last n week sales and the DAX for that will look like this so we are making use of a sumx function here which is an iterator which iterates through each of the rows within our table and what we do is like finally for every row that is that it is iterating through we will get the current week so this is obtained by applying a max on the week year because only the current row is in scope this will give the week year corresponding to the current row at which the function is operating and for each of that row we put this value into a current week variable and then what we do is like we'll apply a filter and the filter will be working on a subset of the table which is on or before the current date so that's why we have the filter of all selected which will apply all the required filters which are coming from outside and that filtered table on top of it it will put an additional filter indicating that the week year should be less than or equal to the current week that means whatever row that we are looking at currently all the data including that row or below should be considered because we are going to find out last n weeks so we have to start from the current week backwards and what we do is that on top of that we apply a rank x so when we apply a rank x on top of that and if you see the rank x uh, it is based on the max week year value backwards so the max week year will always give the current week of the row in which we are calculating it so because the current row is the uh, filter context in this case the week year corresponding to that will be the max week year from there backwards it will rank so that will get one the previous week will get two the uh, the week previous to that will get three like that and then we are looking into the condition like less than or equal to two so when we apply this rank x filter on top of this filtered table for every row it will take the corresponding last two rows including current row and the previous row and on top of that subset table it will apply some x so once it applies some x on top of that filter table for every row you will get a table consisting of two rows the current row and the previous row and on top of that context it will apply sum of quantity so what will happen every row it will calculate the current rows quantity and the previous rows quantity this is the simplest way of rolling window calculation you can make it any number here we are putting two instead of that if you put three it will find out including current one the last three weeks so let's see this in action let's go back to the uh, reporting visual we already have the quantity added now we will add this new last n week sales also on top of that now if you see for the first week it will be the same because there is no previous weeks for the second week it will be that week plus the previous week so 47 plus 13 which is 60 now for the third week it should be 35 plus 47 35 plus 47 the current week and the previous week will be 82 the next one will be 71 plus 35 which is 106 so our calculation is correct now if you go back to the DAX and if you change 2 to say 3 automatically it will find out for the last three weeks 
now go back and check the report you can find that first one will be 13 second one will be 60 from the third one onwards you can see it it adds the previous three rows including the current one so 35 plus 47 which will be 82 plus 13 which is 95 the next one will be 71 plus 35 which is 106 plus 47 which is 153 and you take any one for say so this row it will be 54 plus 53 which is 107 plus 37 which is 144 so the calculation is correct so now how we have achieved this is that sum x will iterate through each of the rows for each rows we will get the current week value we will use that week value to uh, filter the current table into a subset table which consists of current week and the prior weeks on top of that we will apply a rank x and that rank x will ensure that it will rank the weeks starting from the current week backward as 1 2 3 etc and then depending on how many weeks we want we use that value to filter the rank value so when you put 2 means it will get 2 rows when you put 3 means it will get 3 rows like that how many weeks you want that much you can put in that now to make it more dynamic you can add a slicer on top of it and uh, you can pass the value from the slicer to the number of weeks so let's see how we can do that so we are going to add a new table and this table is called uh, the numbers table so we are going to create a numbers table which is going to give the values for our custom slicer and the DAX for this will look like this so we are using a simple data table function to generate a table on the fly which consists of uh, values like say 2 so, so 5 then, so let's add one more value say 3 5 10 and 15 as the value so these will be our choices inside our slicer for getting how many weeks to be considered for doing the rolling window calculation so let's create this table so now the table is created go back to your report you can drag and drop the number from the table onto the reporting pane it will create a report by default just change it to a slicer type of visual and automatically you can see it you can change it into a list and uh, make it horizontal to come in, make it appear as nice little buttons so now you have the slicer ready with uh, multiple values for the week and now we are going to select from this and make sure that the corresponding number of uh, weeks are considered for our rolling window calculation so let's see how we can do that again go back and for our last 10 week sales we need to pass the value from our slicer now so we need to create a new variable which is called n that now n will come from the slicer and we can make use of the selected value function for that and it will come from the numbers table and it will take the current number value and we need to use a return now because we have used a variable and we need to pass this variable instead of our static number which is 3 in this case we will pass this variable here so now it will take it dynamically based on the variable now if you go back to the report and just click on 2 so now the selected one is 2 it will do calculation based on 2 2 rows at a time so 40, 47 plus 13 35 plus 47 82 now if you click on 5 you can see that it will consider the 5 rolling windows 5 weeks so every row including that row 5 weeks so here if you see for example if you see this row which says 261 it will be 50 plus 48 98 98 plus 49 which will be 147 147 plus 61 which will be 208 208 plus 53 which is 261 that is the value that you are getting so it is considering 1 2 3 4 5 values similarly you take this value 244 it will be 45 plus 51 plus 50 plus 50 plus 48 so 48 plus 100 148 148 plus 51 which is 199 199 plus 45 which is 244 that's the value that you so as and when you change the values here automatically the calculation will be dynamic based on the chosen number of weeks from your slicer so this is how you can create a dynamic rolling weekly calculation based on your date table there is no direct function to do that all the date related functions available in dax will only support year month and day as the interval it doesn't support week as an interval so that is the reason why we are creating a custom column to store the year week number and then using it we are applying a rank x to rank the weeks starting from the current week backwards and using a filter based on it to get the corresponding number of weeks and then we apply a sum x on top of that subset table and we will be summing up the whatever field we want in this case we are summing up the sales quantity instead of that if you want average you can do an average if you want some other type of calculation you can use the corresponding function so in that case it will be average x instead of some x and similar kind of functions depending on your actual requirement hope this quick demo gives you an idea of how to do rolling window calculation based on week number and how 
a similar kind of logic can be applied considering weak as an interval inside your DAX code. In all the cases, the concept you need to follow would be the same. Just create a year week based column and use it for the iteration based on the sequence and then you will be able to do your different type of calculations. Hope this video was useful. Feel free to send in your comments and uh, feedback. Feel free to subscribe to my channel for getting useful tips like this and click on bell icon for getting notifications in future. Meet you soon with another useful video. Till then, bye and thanks for your time.